hey guys so today I've got an interesting tutorial which is more about creating an effect and something that you'd see in another game or a part of a game which can be used in maybe different ways depending on how you feel like you want to use it because what I'm going to show you is to use the trail renderer and what it does is leaves a trail behind a, a, a specific object depending on its movement so I think the place you may notice it if you've come across a few games if you've come across battlefield 3 you'll see some of its artwork or maybe some of the trailers you'll see an orange line that follows um maybe characters and stuff like that that's probably doing a different program like uh, adobe after effects or something similar but if you want to create say you're making an rpg and you wanted a character to produce a trail that you could follow or even a trail um to follow on an invisible game object as such and then that might work to what you want so I'll first of all I'll show you on my first person controller so I've got nothing in the scene that you know you wouldn't have access to so if I go to component effects and I go trail render and what you get you just get the basic trail render options you don't really need to change much but you may need to download a few things you may want to download the standard particle pack so if you right click on your project panel go and import and import particles or what you could do is you can download the simple particle pack which is um, available on the unity asset store and that's really um, good for giving you some basic particles but you can create your own so what I'm going to show you is under materials you'll notice that you need to add an actual material for this it, it does work with just general colors but say we add the flame not two material from the simple particle pack what we'll do is we'll play the game and then we'll just run about and you'll see what follows behind is an actual um, flame dependent on how you've moved and where you've moved it'll cross over and do you know some interesting things say if you're making a multiplayer game and you wanted somebody to follow something quite simple something really easy to do you can increase the time which then increases the actual length of the trail itself so it doesn't fade off quite as quickly so you can leave a much longer trail on screen before it fades away but one thing I will show is that I've got a cube here and this cube is animated to move in a sort of square radius and it just loops uh, on a basic animation if you want to, know, want to know how to animate with the legacy animation system in unity which is window and animation I could make a tutorial on that um, and I may do it later on but you can do the same thing you can go to component effects trail renderer do the same thing so if you add flames not two to the materials and if we play the game now and you see that box that's just animated um, around you'll see that it just produces that sort of effect that you would see in the mm, battlefield trailers and things like that and you can create something that's quite simple but can be used in many different ways if you've not come across it before so really that was just the real basics of that function unity but that's all I'm gonna show unless something you know more advanced is needed so thanks very much if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers